Hello my most amazing artists. Um, today what we're going to do, we are going to be adding some color to your awesome cat and bird. Last week when we were in art class, we each created our own cat and bird after looking at an artist named Paul Clay and his artwork and we learned a little bit about him. Today what you're going to do, you are going to color yours. We are going to be using these. These are called quick sticks and I'll explain these a little bit in a second but they're more like paint but in a stick. So you as an artist need to think about how you want to add your color. Do you want to add, you know, do you want to do this part first? Maybe the ears, maybe you want to work on the eyes first. Maybe you want to work on his neck or his cheeks. It's up to you how you want to do it. Um, you're welcome to do it just like Paul Clay's picture. So if that's something you want to do, he had his little red cheeks, he had some yellow, um, maybe a little bit of orange, maybe a red or a pink nose, some red or pink up here. That's entirely up to you. But if you don't want to make it like his, you can choose whichever colors you want. I have some examples of some other artists, some students, and how they colored. And you can see they've done them a little bit differently. This one has some pink and some red and orange and blue. This one has purple, yellow, black, and a little red bird. It looks like this one is using warm colors. It has some pink, some yellow, some orange. This one looks kind of like the real one, I think. Maybe with the little red cheeks and the eyes. You are going to decide how you want to do this. Not your neighbor, not Mrs. Bartos, but you. You get to choose the colors that you want. So let's put that up here, out of our way. And you can kind of figure out how you want to do it by looking at your colors. The biggest thing I think that students worry about is filling this entire sheet of paper. It's a big paper. We've made a very large face of a cat. So you have to think about how you want to do it. And you want to, if you think about breaking it up into smaller sections, I don't want you to pick a color and just start going crazy. You know, maybe you want to work on just the edges. Maybe you want to work on just the eyes. Okay, so really break down this large project into smaller sections. I think the first thing that I want to do is start with the eyes. Now when you open your quick stick, it looks similar to a glue stick. We've got a little piece here that opens, or excuse me, that turns and lifts it. Please don't keep turning it and lifting it and lifting it and lifting it um, because if you do, it'll break. So we just want to kind of keep it low. And you're going to hold it like you hold a pencil or a crayon. And you're just going to take it and start painting. It's like painting with a marker. Now I've decided I want a green eyes. You guys can have whatever ever colors eyes you want. On my the whites of the eyes, I might just I might put this here to kind of look at and the whites of the eyes. I might just leave that white. Now I have to think about what color the ears, the cheeks, the tongue. I think I want some pink cheeks. I like the pink cheeks. So I'm going to give him some pink cheeks. Looks like he's happy. Now the other thing to think about is balance. You remember how Paul Clay um, felt like balance was important. So if we did something on this side, you have to do it on the other side. Do you have to do that? No. Can you do it? Yes. So I have my pink on both sides. I think I'm also going to do a red nose. Sometimes it's hard to stay on these lines. That's okay. Just do your best. And I think I might want some red up here. Just hold your paper with one hand and kind of move the other. Red bird. 
Make sure you put the lids on these when you're finished. And give him an orange beak. And then just kind of keep going. I think I want part of my bird, or excuse me, part of my cat orange. Now remember, don't freak out. Oh my gosh, it's so big, I'm never going to finish this. Break it up into smaller pieces, smaller sections. So I'm going to kind of do the edge here. And then I think I might go over here and do the edge with the same color. I think I want to create some balance, just like Paul Clay talked about. I'm going to keep these white. It's up to you how you want to do it. Do I want to color over the pink cheeks? Mm, not really. I think I'm going to go up to the pink cheeks a little bit. And around. I'm going right over top of those whiskers. That's okay. So I kind of like this. That looks great. I want to continue with balance. So I'm going to start to do that same thing on the other side. Move my picture out of my way here. So here on the edge. To make it just like mine? No. Can you? I suppose if you want. So I'm just doing the edge right now. so good. I love it. I can't wait to see yours. Have fun.